Okay, I'm going to show you how to tie one of Ed Knox's um, micro patterns. It's a very good fly. You can tie it in lots of different colours. Um, I'm going to be using a Camasan uh, extra strong hook, uh, which are wonderful hooks. Really, really are very good. Um, it's a really excellent pattern. It's one that Dave Shipman put me onto a few years ago. Um, I'm very, very thankful. Haven't lost a fish on it. Doesn't straighten. Um, uh, it really, really is a tough little thing. And it's what I've been using uh, before. I was using TMC 101 hooks. Um, and of course, they're fantastic little five. 1.8 hooks down to size 32. Anyway, this fly really can be simpler. Um, wind on your, your thread. You want uh, uh, a little bit of something for your tail. Um, I can use a bit of CDC fluff. I'll just pull that off. Uh, pinch it onto the top of the hook, like so. Whip it down and in. I'm not going to bother to tidy this up. Um, that bit of fluff there will add a little bit more weight to the body and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, a bit of grey ostrich hill a grey ostrich hill here I'll strip a bit of that off so you can see it clearly it's just uh, ordinary ostrich hill I'm going to use tighten by the large end wrap that down to the bottom of the hook. Um, you could do this in a number of ways. I'm just going to go go straight onto the onto the hook shank here. Uh, you might like to, to wrap the ostrich hurl first, and then your silk afterwards. I'm using uh, black shear, uh, which is a very nice tight side flying silk. I'm just going to bring that down a bit. Maybe sort of bring that to the fly slightly so you're getting a bit more idea what the fly looks like. Just the camera up slightly. Here we go. So I've just wound it down the hook. You could put a bit of varnish on to the hook. I'm going to cut this tail off and cut it square. I tend not to cut tails. I tend not to cut, like to cut things square. Um, I like a tapered effect. However, it will help that fly stay on top a little bit longer. Reduce it so it's just over the bend there. Uh, take my scissors with a V in so I'm not pulling the feather out so I haven't got a chance of breaking it I'm going to wrap round I'm just going to half hitch this one half hitch scissors in there I'm going to use my little hitching tool whip finisher one, two, three. Let's tidy that up by catching it in. Okay. There we go. Again, little V, snip it off. There we have it. A very, very simple little fly. Um, ostrich hill. You can tie them black, green, even yellow. A uh, little grey one just represents a little smut. Um, the black ones are really good for reed smuts. And a dark grey uh, will be very good if you've got things like olives coming off, micro olives. Okay, there we go.